Next, I'd like to talk about, well, talk about and demonstrate what I go through when I'm working on a section and I find that there is a roadblock or some kind of problem. In other words, what, what do you practice? If you've got a, a lick that's really hard to do, there's a, the common approach seems to be to play the lick a million times. And that, that kind of wins the war with, you know, overkill. Because if you play the lick a million times, you will have played the hard part of the lick a million times, and that's really what you needed to practice. So I'm going to show you how I go about trying to streamline that process. In other words, like anything else, find the problem and treat it. You don't, don't worry about the parts that you can do already or the parts that you can do okay. Just go straight to the problem. Some of the licks I normally practice that are hard to do on the spot, you know, where you're, you're playing one thing and then suddenly have to jump into a lick. In Twigs Approved, one of the, uh, one of the hard licks is... The uncomfortable section I just uncovered was when I'm going down, picking down on the D string and up on the A string. And it's after I played it a few times and played it slowly from the beginning to made sure and made sure where my pick uh, uh, pick X was ending up. I noticed that down on the D and up on the A is pretty hard to do because you're going down, up, down, up, instead of up, down, up, down, which is more natural. So now I've kind of isolated the problem, which is crossing strings when your pick is in the wrong direction. You know, imagine these are the strings. If you're picking down here and your next note is up here, it's much harder to change direction and get up here and pull it. But if you use alternate pickings, you run across those kind of situations sometimes. And I do use alternate picking almost exclusively. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is, is come up with, I'm just going to practice the part that is the problem, which is crossing strings in, in the worst case, which is down and then opposite direction to pick up. <laughs> the problem area is going uh, down on the D, up on the F. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Just make a little exercise out of it so I don't get bored. And, and if you get bored, you get violent. And if you get violent, you get into the problems. And then, then you're on TV for the wrong reason. You know? So Okay, so now we're going to do exercises having to do with uh, this, this problem, which I think is you know, pretty common, is, is how hard it is to pick in opposite directions across strings. And once again, to remind you, if you work on the hardest things, then the e easier things will be easy. It's just that simple, at least in my mind. So once again, I'm going to pick down. On this exercise, I'm going to pick down on the E string, the first string up on the G string. The easier way to do it would be pick up on the E and down on G. Because your pick action brings you to the next string. It, to make it a challenge, we're going to add some more complex left hand fingerings too. And kind of give you to so something to think about while you practice the technique. Okay, slowly I'm going to play through the exercise. Even slower, and we're going to talk through it. Down on the E, up on the G. Same thing again, only we're going to change notes so we don't get bored. Now 
You notice the bottom note's going up, the top note's going down. That's the opposing motion I was talking about. Then finish it off with a re resolution to C sharp and A. So it's a, it's a real a common classical type of harmony. Anyway, once you get to A, make it a C sharp to F sharp. Then move positions to a C sharp and G from the beginning. What we have here is a tritone, and tri tritones beg to be resolved. I know I'm mixing theory in with all this other stuff, but so that brings us to our new key of D. So, so we went from E major to D, and we'll just keep doing that in a cycle. D, G, G seventh, C, F, F seventh, B flat, E flat, e flat seventh, A flat. Just a way to end. Just a way to end it. It's it's not a piece of music, but it's it, it incorporates ideas that you could use to uh, make pieces of music. And that's always, to me, a more fun way to exercise a problem or work on a problem is to, to me, it's interesting to come up with a, a musical sounding exercise so you don't get so bored.